continuing on everybody okay so we are on the power rule so again the power rule x to the a and then we're going to raise it to another power sometimes we call this a power to a power now i'm not going to give it to you because you're going to tell me what that is all right so let's just start off with a basic example so we've been learning how to do a product when you have something times something what this says is x squared raised to the fourth power. So I want to take everything inside here, this whole chunk, and I'm going to cover it up, and I want to do it four times. This tells us how many times it repeats. So that means we take x squared four times, this whole chunk four times. So one, two, three, a four. I was thinking of the owl and the Tootsie Roll Pop, and how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? Let's find out. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is expand this out even more. Here we go. X squared is two X's. Two X's, two X's, and two more X's. All right, what's my grand total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight X's. So we don't want to say x squared to the fourth power is x, 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 x. We want to shorten that and just say that we have eight x's. Now your brain may be already thinking, hmm, how can I get from two to four to eight? All right, so I know this one down here gets a lot harder, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do one more little one. I'm going to say, what if I have a, we'll say cubed, and let's raise it to the fifth power. All right, so here we go. That means I need to take a cubed five times. So that's a to the third times 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 a to the third. One, two, three, four, five times. Now, I could do this line right here where I break it down and I write it out, but I think by now you've got the hang of this is three A's plus three A's plus three A's plus three A's plus three A's. Okay, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen A's. So that means that A to the third raised to the fifth power, if I were to write it all out, it would be fifteen. 15 A's. Okay, do you know the rule now? Do you think you got it? Well, let's see. What is 2 times 4? That would be 8. Oh, looky there, there's 8. 2 times 4 is 8. What is 3 times 5? I'm going to draw a little arrow. 3 times 5? <gasps> it's 15. So, that means when you have a power to a power, you are multiplying. So, A, ooh, A, B, how am I gonna write that? Well, I'm gonna remember that we're multiplying A times B, we write that as A, B. Now, if you write it like this, A times B, you can do that, but we don't usually like to put little X's anymore, like what you did like back in the day when you were doing like four times five and you would say 20. We don't like in algebra to put the little x between because uh, we're dealing with a base of x. And x and this x are different. And sometimes we get them mixed up if we try and put them together. Okay, when raising a monomial to a power, so this is a monomial, a power to a power. So we're gonna call that. We are going to raise the coefficient to the given power and simplify the variables. Okay, so yeah, let's let's hold off on that. That's a lot of words there. Let's do another one. I'm gonna change to um, red, I think it'll work. I'm gonna try anyway. 2m to the third, n to the fifth. Okay, that means I need to take this five times. And you might be thinking, oh my gosh, really Mrs. Dean? Can't we just do what we did there? We know that we multiply. You can, but coefficients, coefficients are the number in the front, work a little bit differently. Exponents, they are like so bossy. Like, I mean, they are off the charts bossy. They like to tell people what to do. So this two right here is being told by this five, hey, multiply yourself uh, five times. 
So if I were to write all of this out five times, and I'm going to do that right here, 2m to the third n times 2m to the third n times 2m to the third n. That's three times. Times 2m to the third n times 1, 2, 3, 4. One more, 2m to the third n. And then remember in the other page, we were rearranging the numbers and we we're putting them all first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we would do our M's. 3 M's, 3 M's, 3 M's, 3 M's, 3 M's. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 M's. And you might say, oh, well, 3 times 5 is 15. So there are 15 M's. But what about the N? Well, let, ignore this part. Let's just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, there's 5. But how did I get from here to the here? On the end right there, there is a 1. If it's not there, it's understood that it's a 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Okay, we're almost done. We haven't quite finished because we can't say the answer is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Multiply all those times m to the 15th n to the 5th. We need to do, what is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? So, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, I'm just going to tell you, it comes out to be a big old 32. Another way to do that would be in my calculator. I could do 2 to the 5th power. I could do 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Whichever way you want to do it, but it's 32. So that's 32 m to the 15th n to the 5th. And there's my answer. But I want to kind of take a little bit of a side note on here and explain this just, just one more time. This 2 right here is being bossed around by the exponent. Another way right here to change that is we could have said this is 2, always keep your base, and whatever this is here, you put it up here. One thing that I always say, whatever the coefficient is in the front, put parentheses around it before you put the exponent. And you'll see why on this next problem. Then we would do m, and we would do 3 times 5 is 15. And then we do n to the first times 5 is n to the fifth. And then in my calculator, I would say 2 to the 30, oh, nope. 2 to the 5th, which is what I have there, is 32. And then I would say 32 m to the 15th n to the 5th. Okay, that's just one way to do it. Exponents are super bossy. Remember that when you're working on these. So, back up here. When raising a monomial to a power, the coefficient in the front, you are going to raise the coefficient to the given power. And then on the exponents, we are going to simplify the exponents. All right, make sure I got that. Okay, back up here. Okay, so a power to a power, we multiply. And I'm going to remind you back here, you've got the power rule. A power to a power, you multiply. All right, so here we go. This 4, oh my gosh, 4 is so bossy. I'm going to highlight him. He is the bossy dude. Okay, bossy dude is bossing everybody around. So we're going to put parentheses because we have a coefficient. We're going to say negative 3, and we're going to put whatever that exponent is. Now, everything else we know when you go a power to a power, you multiply. So 4 times 4 would be a to the 16th. 2 times 4 would be 8, so that'll be b to the 8th. Oh, c. Remember, there's a 1. 1 times 4 would be 4. Okay, so I just need to figure out negative 3 to the 4th power. So this is why I put parentheses, because I want you to use parentheses when you put that in your calculator. Raised to the 4th power, 81. Now, I'm going to show you something here. So this is 81, a to the 16th, b to the 8th, 
c to the fourth. That's my final answer. But in your calculator, if you put negative 3 house top 4, why can't I do that, Mrs. Dean? It says negative 3 to the fourth power. I'm going to do it that way because that's the way I want to do it. Look at that. Ooh, that's not the same answer. So let me show you what your calculator sees when you type this. It sees something different. If you type negative 3 to the fourth power, this is what your calculator sees. It sees negative 1 times 3 to the fourth power, which is negative 81. When you tell your calculator negative 3 four times, your calculator sees negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, which is 80, I almost said negative, which is 81. But when you forget to put parentheses around this, your calculator sees a negative 1 right here times 3 to the 4th. Calculator always makes it positive, but because that negative there, it's like, oh, okay, there's a negative 1. Be careful. Just put parentheses around it, and then you won't have to worry. All right, so here we go. On to the next one. Here we go. I'm going to wait just a minute. I'm going to let you start it. I'm going to give you another 10 seconds. Okay, negative 4, x to the third, y squared, all raised to the third. So in my brain, I think a power to power. Parentheses, when you take parentheses to a power, I'm going to take that coefficient and pull it out to the front. Bossy little exponent here is going to boss it and say it's got to go three times. 3 times 3 will be 9, and 2 times 3 will be 6. So I'm going to take my calculator. And I'm going to say parentheses, negative 4, parentheses, raised to the third power is negative 64. So negative 64, x to the ninth, y to the sixth. Bam. Okay, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to put a little squiggly line here. You're already like, oh, Miss Dean, fractions. I'm like, I hate fractions. I do too. I don't like them either. Okay, bossy little exponents, bossing everybody around. Here we go. I'm going to pull that number out to the front, put parentheses around it. And he's being bossed around by that bossy 4, so I'm going to put a 4 out here. And I'm going to multiply. 4 times negative 2 will be x to the negative 8. 4 times 3 will be y to the 12th. Okay, well I need to simplify. 1 half to the 4th power, you know what's beautiful? This is beautiful. Alpha y equals is beautiful. 1 over 2 raised to the 4th power. Now, I, you know what? I'm going to do it right. Y'all going to get me. I forgot to put my parentheses. 1 over 16. So this equals 1 over 16 x to the negative 8 y to the 12. Okay, now I might have lied. I want to do one more. Huh, sorry. We'll call that number 5. I want to do number 6 over here. This is number 6. I'm going to do x squared over y cubed raised to the second power. I think I want to do that one right there. It might be a little more advanced, but that's okay. We can do it. We got this. All right. So you're looking at this and you're like, wait, but there's like a fraction. There is. It's going to work the same way. Here's what I want to show you. When you have a big old parentheses, we're squaring everything, okay? So this is going to be multiplied here, but what's on the bottom is going to multiply too. So it's like this. It's like x squared squared over y cubed 
squared because you're squaring both of them. All right, two times two would be x to the fourth. Three times two would be y to the sixth. Okay, I just wanted to show you that one. All right, that was the power rule.